Hello everyone, this is D22 with you today from D22 Responses and we're going to do another Power Director 10 tutorial as requested by a subscriber. Now, this is going to be a few of them because I only have 30 days on the software because I'm going to not buy this software because like I said in my previous video, I don't like this. But I'm going to answer a subscriber's request anyways because my channel responds to responses. So this is going to be a response from one of my subscribers. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the full feature editor in Cyberlink Power Director 10. Now, I have an annotation for the previous video on the left side of the video. But I'm basically just going to go for the full 30 days of it. So if I get other requests, I can do a month full of them. But after this expires, I'm not going to get the software again. Repeat, I am not going to get this software again. So we're going to go try now because I don't want to buy now because it's stupid. Anyways. We're opening up Cyberlink Power Director 10 and we are going to answer a request from a subscriber of mine. Now, the, the link of the subscriber is down below. So basically what he wanted to know was how to edit between frames. It's a little bit tricky, this process feel right now. So I'm going to import a file, like a sample video. Now it accepts all file types according to what it says here. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to go into the videos folder, go into my flip video, and then I'll just get a sample one here. So, we're going to open that up, and then it gives you a little prompt. <laughs> when you usually have HD videos, it prompts you if you still want to go through this, and it'll degrade the quality in some way, but that's usually normal when it comes to editing with HD files. So, you can just always uncheck the box and then you can say yes. So it'll import the video in here and then what we can do, we can get rid of this harvest crap and then we can just put my video in. As you can see this little crosshair allows you to position the video however you want. But that doesn't really mean you can trim it. Now editing frame by frame is called trimming so what we can do is we're going to go multi-trim. So basically what happens here, it takes you to the multi-trim window. So if you want to, like, let's say, edit something out, it allows you to select with this little selector here. And then what you can do is you can just split the video. So let's say, for example, you hear this. So we're just going to go all the way back here. We're going to hear this. Hey, the team, my way, this is your captain speaking. So. Let's just say I wanted to skip this part from here. So we go split, and then it'll split that part. And then let's say I want to go all the way here, then I press split again. So that means you can split the video in segments, and then you can go to OK. So what usually happens here is that your video segments are now split. So that's usually how you can edit between frames. You would go to the trim tool so that it would allow you to split your video. You can go mark in or mark out and then play it back. Now, this is just a simple trim, but for a longer video like this, you want to cut it out. Like, this is what I've done so far. Now, this is a serious message. Now, that's usually how you split the video. So what you would do here is you would make sure that you stretch it out properly. And you can also set the length of it like this. You would usually see where these two arrows are. And that allows you to shorten or lengthen the video. Now, mind you that this is a usually different process than what I do in Sony Vegas, but that's how you split clips. So I'll repeat this again. What you do is you have a video, and you go to multi-trim, and then what you do is you go to the part where you want, like this, and then what you do, you split the video here, you can do a lot of scene detections here, or split the video again, so that you can do numerous detections. So that's basically all you have to do. That's how you split the video into the parts that you want. 
and you can edit out like little pauses there with this. So this is how you do it in Cyberlink Power Director 10. So it's mainly going into the multi trim window and splitting your video up into segments and then after you're done you click OK. So what happens here is that it'll automatically split your movies according to how you did it before. So what you usually have is this. So we're just going to go back and then what we did was we split the movie into one, two, three, four, five, six parts from the same clip. So that's normally how you do it. And then after that you can work with it however you want. So it'll basically look like this. Hey the team my way, this is your captain speaking. And then what happens here is that it goes to another part of the movie. Now this is a serious message. When someone has an idea for a now that's just only a sample video that I did, but what you would usually do is you would what you do is you would reverse the clips however you want by dragging the clip and basically doing whatever. So you would drag the clip to somewhere and then it would usually say invert or overwrite or something like that. So that's normally how you split video and edit between frames. So that's basically it. And there's a lot more of a description of the Cyberlink software in the annotation on the left side. But this is just a request that I got from my subscribers. So I hope that helped. Thank you very much for watching. Get Field for Life. And I'll respond to you another time. Goodbye.